Hello, welcome to Rambi Guns, and today we're going to be talking about the limited edition Browning, the uh, B725 Sporter Medallion. Start off with the outside of the box, as you can see, these come in the Ultra XS Pro uh, ABS cases, the Opaline boxes. Very nice touch. Prefer these to the traditional 725 boxes, which look a bit like a violin, um, like a violin case. These are a lot more uh, a sturdier box, in my opinion. So it's a good touch as they put them in the XS Pro box. Again, same as the XS Pro box. Come with the uh, the, the lock-in. Uh, combination locks. I don't bother really using them. A bit of a waste of time, really, because at the end of the day, they're not that the flimsy. Just get them off with a screwdriver. But well, let's open it up and see what's inside. We're going to do a bit of an introduction of what it all comes with, um, all the bits of paperwork and the gun itself. So first of all, we'll start with the gun. Right, so we're going to just move the box out of the way and let's have a, look, a little close look at the gun. The 725 Sporting Medallion, um, limited edition from Browning. This gun has never been released in the UK, but it is an American spec gun. So this engraving style does exist in America on the American spec guns, it's called a medallion. It's a little bit different though. Um, the engraving on the American version is a blued action with where these little silver bits, we'll get a bit of a close up, where these silver bits are, these are gold. So the reasoning for this is why they've gone down the silver route, um, just to mark it, a, a, you know, a black action with the gold isn't really, I don't think it would sell that well in the UK, I think it's a bit out there, um, but, the, but the actual engraving pattern is really nice, so they went down the route of calming it down a bit uh, but still keeping the pattern which I think in I think everyone would agree it's a particularly nice style different um, it's not just you know monotone one color one engraving but it's got the little highlights of the it's almost like silver uh, silver inlay into the floral engraving really nice touch there what's fit on the back of these guns is the uh, inflex pad system Great design, great, uh, great recoil absorption. What I like about these the most is similar to the microcore system with Bretta, you can change the lengths. So if you want to uh, make it longer, shorter, it's really easy to do. And if the, the biggest pad, let's say, isn't long enough, you can also fit spacers, which this gun does come with. So I will go through the box as well uh, with what it comes with. But yeah, brilliant design, really. A nice feeling recoil pad. Moving a little bit uh, further on, we've got a stunning piece of grade four slash five Turkish walnut here. Um, these do vary. Some are yellower, some are darker. We've had a, we have had a good handful of these already. Um, and the wood has been very varied. Not had, a, not had a bad piece of wood yet on a medallion. Um, I think they've really selected the wood specifically for this model because it's such a limited edition. And it's, it, it is a very different style of engraving, a different gun entirely. So I think they've really gone all out and put the nicest piece of wood for this model. Moving up a little bit, this gun also comes with the, uh, the famous Browning adjustable comb system. Brilliant design in my opinion. You put cast on it left, right, up and down. Great for gun fitting. This gun, being a sporter, obviously designed to be a proper all-out clay gun. I also think it would be more than suitable for game shooting. The fact that you can fit it, any gun should be fitted regardless to a degree anyway, game gun, sporter, whatever it is. So I think this is a nice little package in that regard, but the adjustable cone just lets you give you that bit more flexibility, like the XS Pros do. Um, uh, and the pro sports and, the, and, and such. Moving a little bit further forward onto the checkering, really nice coarse checkering here. In my opinion, I believe this is hand done. A lot of the machine made stuff is obviously all laser done because it's well, 
quicker and cheaper is the top and tail of it. And at the end of the day, a competition shooter doesn't really necessarily need a hand checkered gun. It, it isn't going to make any difference to him. It's just going to add cost onto the, the overall gun in the end. From looking at it, I personally think it's hand done. Could be wrong, I don't know, but that's my personal opinion on that. Uh, really nice checkering, quite coarse. This doesn't come with a palm swell, however. So the Pro Sport, which is like this is based off, is a 725. The Pro Sports do come with a nice big palm swell. Um, which I'm surprised, actually, I thought this would have come with a parcel, being the sporter, but it doesn't. Um, so, yeah, if you were expecting the parcel, this model doesn't come with that. Very similar to the XS Pro in that regard. So, a bit of a close-up here on the safety catch. Again, and also to give you an idea what the engraving is like on the top of the action. Really nicely, uh, nice figure, almost like a, <laughs> I quite like that, it's almost like a little pyramid. Um, Again, non-auto safe, being a uh, being a sporter, but it can be made auto safe if you wanted it to be done. Um, barrel selector for o, o, uh, U and O, under and over. Um, yeah, really nice design there. Top lever is really nice as well. Nice stippling on the um, on the side of the top lever gives you good grip, uh, but it's not too coarse where it sort of would hurt if you were doing it a lot. It's quite a soft checkering almost, quite big um, on the top there. Yeah, beautiful design. Close up of the action. Um, already spoken a bit about the engraving uh, just, but this is a bit of a close up here as you can see. Really nicely engraved in my opinion. Obviously there's loads of pictures on the internet about these on Brownie's website, but in the video it might just make it look a little bit nicer for you to have a look at. So here, nicely fully engraved down the bottom. There's barely um, a surface on this that isn't engraved. Even the top of the, you know, all, even all the trigger guards engraved. The front bit isn't, but the top is. Sporting the B725 medallion, and just to say it is a limited edition. I don't know how many they've made of these. Roughly, I would expect there may be 50 coming to the UK. I wouldn't, maybe, probably wouldn't have thought as many as that. Around that figure, anyway. Um, they are doing, or they have done, which we do get in stock, we are getting some more in stock, a game version, um, which fundamentally will be the same slightly different rib obviously different bead won't come with the adjustable comb uh, won't come with the extended chokes it'll just be the game version of it but the engraving and everything like that will be identical slightly cheaper as well because obviously it doesn't come with the comb system um, but when we get one of those in we will be doing a little video on that as well um, just to let them know we have them in and you know just so you can have a look at them. This gun does come with the um, adjustable trigger system, being the Sporter, same as the Pro Sports. I'm, I'm glad they've done that. There's the game gun, off memory, is a fixed trigger. Um, I'd have to just double check, I can't remember. Um, but this does come with the uh, adjustable trigger, which I do like. In, in, in reality, people very rarely will adjust the trigger anyway, but it is a nice feature that they're throwing in, it is an extra cost at the end of the day. Moving slightly further forward uh, to the fore end, here we've got a sort of a London style form, which was a bit of a surprise. I would have thought they would have gone more down the route of a beaver tail fore end, uh, or a sporting style fore end, considering it is a sporter. But they've gone with the London style fore end. For me, I prefer a beaver tail fore end, so, but, <sighs> It was a bit of a surprise to see that. I would have thought they would have put a beaver tail forend on it, or certainly a thicker forend. It's an incredibly slim forend. Same what like the Hunter Hunter uh, 725s come with. Obviously, they're high grade. Um, but uh, yeah, similar design to the front as well. Obviously, the checkering is identical. Chamber lengths on this gun, when we're talking about the barrel, is two and three quarter and three inch. So you can put your bigger game loads through it if you wanted to. Like, like all new Brownians as well, uh, and well, any real new gun now, uh, all high performance, still shot proofed. So you can put your high performance steel through it. Barrels come with a sporting rib, um, as expected really from a uh, sporter. Um, but the game gun obviously comes with the game rib. Um, personally, I prefer the sporter in that regard. I do like a wider rib personally, but again, it's all personal preference. Ventilated mid ribs, so um, eight and cooling. I wouldn't say it's a gimmick, but um, yeah, it's a nice addition. Um, I, no one really gets the barrels at top where it, it, it they will take advantage of the ventilation, especially in the UK in the winter. Um, but it is there and it is a nice feature. This model does come with the Invector DS choke system, so Invector double seal. Um, so the, the, the most up-to-date choking system from Browning, the newest one certainly, um, which is a nice feature. Uh, Invector Plus and Invector DS, to be honest, it's tit for tat in my opinion. Um, both throw very good patterns, but yeah, it is nice, it comes with the newer system, which Browning Arm is certainly taking the Invector DS further than Invector Plus. So I think if a new model ever came out, like a completely new gun, um, 
you know, 10 years or whatever in the future, I think they would use the Invector DS system on it. I think maybe Invector Plus might be slowly phased out for the new Invector DS system, but we'll see. The box. So we're going to run through everything that it comes with. Comes in this, uh, obviously, the nice open line case. Um, come with these nice socks for the barrel, forend, and stock. Nice little feature, really. All, all the brands really come with these, apart from. Let's say your standard 525, 725, stuff like that. Your, your higher end stuff like uh, Pro Sports, Access Pros, things like that, all come with those socks now, which is a nice feature. I like these cases because they come with these little um, Velcro straps to hold the action in. So, you know, not on the barrels, but on the on the stock and action. If you're carting it around, upside down, so whichever orientation, it does keep the action and the uh, stock close to the case, so it's not rattling around, which is a, a nice feature. Paperwork, everyone's favorite thing. So these guns do come with a proof certificate, proof certificate, so it's been proofed. That isn't a UK proof certificate, so it just basically says that it's, it passed in, uh, in Belgium, um, but obviously they get reproofed in the UK anyway. Book of words. Browning books. How to register your warranty, which is a nice feature. You can they do come with a standard warranty when you buy them, but if for free, uh, yeah, I believe you get an extra year if you register it online, which is a no-brainer really. Um, the warranty with Brownings aren't transferable, so if you sold it to your mate or sold it to a gun shop, when they sell it, that warranty doesn't transfer. Um, the warranty only lasts for the person who bought the gun new. Get this a lot as well for these little books. It says B725 Pro Trap. Don't know why, because it certainly isn't a pro trap. Um, but yeah, it, it, for some reason it just says pro trap on it. I don't know why. Nice browning envelope. So same with the the, uh, the pro sport. Uh, it comes with the eight chokes. Um, you get your full full little uh, full little selection here. With this uh, little selection, you do extra full, full, light full, uh, three quarter skeet and cylinder. And you've got a quarter and a half in the gun. Gun also comes with a trigger lock. I don't use these personally, I don't think anyone does. Um, but they do come with a trigger lock if you decide you want to use one. Box of accessories. So if this being a pro gun, this is exactly what they come with as new. You don't get any spare triggers with this model, but you do get barrel weights. You've got the, the, the screws to fix them. Uh, adjustable comb Allen key. Stock weights. Choke key. Auto safety, whoops, auto safety bar. So, like I said previously, if you want to make the gun auto safe, you give this to a gunsmith and he will fit it for you to make it an auto safe. Um, and that is it, really. <laughs> That's what it comes with. To be honest, though, it's a nice little package. More bits of pamphlets and leaflets, how to set the codes on the case. So, this little tool here, believe it or not, does not change the adjustable comb, which we do get asked. Uh, this is a stop bolt key. So, you take the pad off the back with two Phillips head screwdrivers. Um, and you put this through the back and you undo it or tighten it up. So what we do get asked a lot is stops cracking. So the reason for that can be a multitude of reasons, but one of them can be, even if you haven't dropped the gun, the stop, will loo the stop bolt will work loose eventually, potentially. So the best thing to do every, I don't know, you don't have to do every day or every week, like every six months a year, just take the pad off, put this through the back, nip it up. That will save more stock crack than you think. When your stock cracks, more than likely it's due to the, the, the stock not being tight up to the action. You don't want to go mad though, because if you go too tight, well, you'll just crack it, you'll damage the insides of the, the, the stock with the stock bolt. Um, but you don't want it loose because again, it'll work loose, rattle and crack. Um, just a little neat feature of what that does. Right, that's just a, um, a quickish video, just explaining the new 725 um, medallion, the, the sporter version. They do do a game version, as stated before, so we will be bringing a video on that when I get some. But yeah, let me know what you think of the video. What, any questions about the gun or anything for that matter, do drop it down in the comment section below. We'll be happy to uh, answer them. Um, like, subscribe, helps us out a lot. It lets us know what we're doing, what you know, what, what what's good and what's not. Um, so we are learning at this. So uh, yeah, if you wouldn't mind just uh, dropping a like, comment, subscribing, that would be a great help. Any questions, like saying, just just drop it below. Or give us a shop a call. We'll put all the details of how to contact us in the description uh, box below. See you in the next one.